Well, Nurses Week is an annual celebration to recognize and highlight the work that caregivers do across the globe. The signing of a proclamation by President Ronald Reagan in 1982 declared May 6th as Nurses Day. And KSLA's Tamer Knight reports. I don't get sleepy often here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, just by nature, one thing all nurses have in common is that when things are at their very worst, we're at our very best. Every day, nurses embody the spirit of compassion and the willingness to serve their community. When we say you never know what's coming through the door, we never know who's coming through the door. It could be one of our best friends, it could be a relative, it could be somebody we went to grade school with. But whoever comes through that door is somebody's best friend, somebody's child, somebody's mom or dad, and we have to remember that. Each day is different for a nurse, and that is the excitement that keeps their adrenaline going. There's not one day that's the same as the day before. I like that. It's, I guess you could say spontaneous, but it keeps you on your toes. Um, you may never have a trauma all day, which is not likely, but it happens. Um, and just take care of strictly ER patients out of the waiting room or ambulances that come in. We spoke with the trauma nurses at Oshner LSU Health Shreveport, and they say they have learned to cope with the trauma of working in the emergency room. You never know what's going to come through the door, you know, from soup to peanuts, that whether they've got a runny nose or, or gunshot wound or car wreck or their back just hurts. We just, that's, that's the good thing about it is there's such a variety. Like I can remember my very first trauma in this room on my very first day everything about the patient, but you just take what happened in that one and move forward to the next one, what you could do better. Realize that you did all you can do and you can't carry that burden home with you. If you see a nurse, make sure to thank them for their service and their heroism. Tamer Knight, KSLA News 12.